Next, um, I'm going to define central moments and standardized moments. A uh, central moment uh, is a concept where we define uh, the nth moment of random variable X around its mean, okay? So what we do is we shift the distribution by its mean. So we make it a zero mean distribution, okay? We just shift the origin, let's say, the origin of the real line to wherever the mean is. So we make sure when, when we do the shift, um, the, the distribution is centered at zero, okay? So then when you compute the um, nth moment, what you get is the central moment. Of course, it should be obvious to you that the first central moment is always zero for any distribution because it's essentially the expected value of X minus its mean, okay? And as uh, I uh, mentioned earlier, expectation is linear. And since this is a constant value, I can take it out to obtain expected value of X minus mean of X, which is zero for any distribution. And next we have the standardized moments. Here uh, we go one step further, we scale it by the standard deviation so that the variance becomes one. We are going to study these in more detail later on when we study transformations of random variables. But for the time being, uh, just bear in mind that uh, when you shift the distribution by its mean, X minus its mean, and divide it by the standard deviation, what you get is a standardized random variable. Standard here means it has zero mean and it has a variance of one. That's what we mean by standard, okay? Here in this course, standard random variable will mean zero mean and a variance of one. So this here is, a, is the nth moment of a random variable, which is shifted by its mean and divided by its standard deviation. So it's called standardized moment. Okay, um, now we, we talked about the first and second moments and or first and second order statistics, let's say. First order statistics, we have um, the mean and the mean absolute deviation. Those are first order statistics because well, you have X to the power one in their definition. And the variance is the second order uh, statistics along with the second moment, of course, because in their definition, you have X to the power two. And we talked about what they mean, okay? And the mean is sort of the center of mass and the variance is a measure of how far the, um, the outcomes can fall uh, with respect to the mean. The, those were the meanings. Those were the meanings of those statistics. And what about further statistics, higher order statistics? Um, I'm going to give you just two. The third standardized moment is a measure of skewness. Okay, what does skewness mean? Um, something like this. Okay, so if you have a distribution, I'm talking about PDFs, let's say, it's something like, like this. Okay, so let's say this is the mean. Um, you see, uh, we have more outcomes to the left of the distribution, and we have less uh, possible outcomes, let's say, um, to the right of the distribution. So this we say has negative skew. Alternatively, consider this one. Let's say the mean is here. And uh, well, I did the same, sorry. Something like this. Okay, the mean is here and here. We have uh, more possible outcomes to the right of the to the right of the mean, and to the left of the mean we have uh, less possible outcomes. Let's say, and this is uh, said to have a positive skew. Okay, um, but um, skewness um, does not work on every kind of distribution. Sometimes you have uh, distributions with multiple modes, something like this, for instance. Uh, in such distribution, skewness is not that meaningful, but still with uh, unimodal distributions like these ones on the left, uh, it's uh, meaningful in some applications. And the fourth standardized moment is called kurtosis, okay? It's the measure of the tailedness. Okay, so what does it mean? 
It means, I mean, um, if the distribution dies out towards the infinity fast, we say it has uh, small tails, but it, it doesn't die out fast. We say it has fat tails, okay? Something like this. Uh, does it decay fast or it persists for a long time? Okay, so this one we, we would say has a fat tail. Okay, this has to do with outliers. Okay, uh, how frequently do you see um, an outlier? That means how frequently do you see an outcome um, that sort of has a very low probability, but you see it nonetheless. If, if you have a, a fat tail distribution, you would have uh, more outliers occurring. So that has to do with uh, the fourth uh, standardized moment is a measure of that. 